purposeful unfair trade is a feature of Chinese co Communist Party's economic policy, and U.S. manufacturers like Stoughton suffer as a result. Your work to address unfair Chinese trade practices is essential to enhancing America's economic competitiveness. In 1961, my father took a risk and purchased the assets of a small distressed trailer manufacturer in Stoughton, Wisconsin. Because of his hard work and the work of countless others since then, Stoughton Trailers has become the fourth largest U.S. trailer producer, employing more than 2,300 American workers in three states. Stoughton produces trailers that keep American supply chains moving, including dry vans, refrigerated trailers, grain trailers, and intermodal container chassis. Despite this growth, we've also experienced severe challenges in the past decade due to unfair competition from Chinese state-owned companies. Our primary foreign competitor has long been one of China's prized state-owned enterprises, CIMC. CIMC's primary shareholder is the Chinese government. As the Select Committee is aware, China's State Council and the CCP's Central Committee directly manage the decision-making of SOEs like CIMC. CIMC is a key element in the Chinese government's strategy to dominate global shipping services and maritime equipment production. To secure its status as the world's factory, China also needs to secure the means to delivering those goods around the world. To that end, the government of China bestows massive subsidies on CIMC, allowing it to sell products far below fair value and drive out market-based companies, including American companies. Stoughton has seen this firsthand, the destructive results of this strategic government support. In the early 2010s, Stoughton produced 53-foot shipping containers. We sought trade relief from imports of those containers from CIMC and other Chinese producers. The U.S. Department of Commerce found that CIMC dumped containers in the United States and received significant government subsidies to produce them. Unfortunately, the International Trade Commission made a negative finding and we were forced to shut down our container manufacturing operations. Now, Chinese container manufacturers produce nearly all of the shipping containers used in the United States and control more than 90% of the global market. 